Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Um, guys, I did an eye look yesterday on that foundation review and it turned out beautiful. And I told you guys it was Tarlet um, Bloom palette and I was so incorrect. So I do apologize for that. But what I'm going to do is I have absolutely fell in love with Tarte Cosmetics eyeshadows. Guys, I knew a lot of people, there's a lot of mixed reviews on these products, so I was really hesitant to jump on board. So I purchased the Tarlet Tees by Tarte, and it's just a very small package. It's very reasonably priced. It's like 20 bucks at Sephora, or you can get it from TarteCosmetics.com. And I used this yesterday. Guys, these are beautiful, pigmented blendable eyeshadows I've ever seen in my life. The mattes are absolutely phenomenal, guys. It gave me a beautiful eye look without any work at all. Um, so I had to come on here and do a special uh, dedication uh, review to this palette because I am so on board for Tarte eyeshadows now and I will be purchasing a lot more of their eyeshadow products. Um, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on this. Like I said, you guys, the pigment on the mattes are unreal. They are amazing and I am in love. So I'm so glad that I gave Tarte a try because like I said, I was real hesitant and I held back for a long time on purchasing anything because there were so many mixed reviews on this. But when I tell you that these are some of the most amazing matte formula i have ever tried i am not kidding guys just watch and you guys will see before your own eyes how blendable these mattes are without any pressure without any work and the pigmentation is on point guys these are just fab so i'm going to go ahead and get started real quick and i'm going to jump in with my morphe m441 brush and um just go ahead and apply and all over um, pale shadow they don't have names but I'm gonna use this one right here just to set my primer and make sure that everything else can blend on top you know seamlessly so I'm gonna dip into that and like I said um, I'm just gonna apply that all over from lid to brow and all I'm doing is setting the primer that I've already applied onto the lid so when I go to apply uh, apply the colors they will blend effortlessly without any drag in them and it just helps um, to prevent your primer from creasing because if you go in with a powder on top of a cream it's not going to blend effortlessly and it will give you a lot of issues to get the other colors applied so that's why you always want to set them cream products with a powder so that way you have no issues when you go to blend. But yesterday what I done on the eye look is I had just applied the um, dark shadow to the outside of the eye, the outer corner. And then I took these light color, light matte colors, and I applied that on the inner part of the lid. And guys, it was stunning. It was simple, yet beautiful. I loved it. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go into this. Um, oh, they do have names. So the first shadow I went into, that first top row, was Whisper. Now I'm going to go into Heartbreaker. It is the third color in the palette. It's that brown dark brown right there and that's called heartbreaker absolutely adorable names i did not see that yesterday when i was over here playing with this and i'm going to keep this just right there in the crease kind of a little bit below onto the outer lid and blending forward just using windshield wiper motions I could not believe how good that look turned out yesterday um, because I was really just playing around when I'd done those. And like I said, it was the first time I had used this palette, first time I had used any of Tarte's eyeshadows, 
and truly blew me away guys so there you guys can see that's just one nice soft uh, blend with heartbreaker and look at that just look at that outer V already look how beautiful that lays Just light pressure, guys. Nothing too dramatic. Nothing harsh. Tapping off the excess. And again, just going on that outer corner of the eye and into the crease slightly. When I'm doing this, guys, I'm just blending in small circular motions and then bringing that in in windshield wiper motions to the remainder of what's left on my brush. You want very little excess of product on your brush when you go to do that inner corner. But even with this small of a palette, there's only six shades in here. But guys, the looks that you could create with this truly stunned me. Um, look at that, guys. I just, I cannot get over the blendability of these shadows. Um, so glad that I finally gave this a try. I think I may do a wear test on these today also so you guys can get a full idea of the longevity of these. Now again, I'm going to go back into Heartbreak. And in this small palette of six, you have four mattes and two shimmers. So, good amount of products. And I'm just deepening that outer corner ever so slightly. And I'm going to go back in in a few minutes with uh, BFF. It's like a plum purple. It's truly beautiful. But as you guys can see, it's building extremely pretty and just flawlessly. And it's effortlessly, guys. And you could do the most gorgeous smoky eye with this. And I'm going to show you guys, when I go to do that lower lash line with this uh, color heartbreak, it absolutely adheres to that lower lash line unreal like it is so pretty the way it turns out i wanted to do tape on this today and i totally forgot the tape technique um so i could get a real sharp corner but i forgot so it's okay so there we are it's blending in beautiful cute dark outer corner we're going to do the inner corner light now i'm going to go into this last shade on the bottom it's the plum purple and it's called bff and guys this just ever so slightly just deepens the outer v and just gives it a little something that's just needed there it's truly amazing look at that color guys Look how beautiful that's blending in and deepening that outer corner. I mean, it's absolutely amazing at the quality of these shadows. I cannot believe that it took me this long to get on board with this. So if you have not tried this or any of Tarte's shadows, guys, you really need to go invest. Uh, go to Sephora. You can do live swatches there. They're amazing, guys. Amazing. And all I'm doing is barely tapping my brush in there. Like one, two, and it's done. When I'm deepening that outer V, guys, all I'm doing is small circular motions. And I want to keep it right there. I want all my color and all my pigment to stay mostly on that outer V and that lower lid going into windshield wiper motions into that crease. But I really want that outer V to stand out. So that way when I go to do the lighter inside, it's really going to make that pop. And I'm just kind of dragging that color to the top and out towards the eyebrow. Just to give it a little something. 
Guys, excuse my nose. It's that time of the year. Fall has arrived in Florida. The weather's wanting to change, but yet it's still wanting to stay hot. So it's that time everybody's starting to get sniffles and colds and allergies. And So there you guys go. Look at that. I mean, it's gorgeous. Now I can go in here and I can blend this a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in. For some reason, the uh, this eye always wants to blend more better than this eye. I have no idea why, but that's how my eyes work. So we're going to take this, and we're just going to kind of go back in there and blend that line out and diffuse it ever so slightly. I am applying a little bit more pressure. And as you guys can see, it's diffusing. and all I did was I took some more of the uh, whisper and I just kind of went back over there blending that over a little but I also have two different eye shapes so you just have to play with your shadows. But my main point of this is look at that, guys. It turns out to a beautiful eye look in within seconds is all it takes. So now I'm going to go in with my, um, let me find it. I just got this, and I bought this brush. You guys won't believe it, but I got this brush from the Dollar General, guys. It's a new brand they're carrying there, and they're absolutely it's amazing quality um but my daughter might have took it out so we might not be playing with that brush yes we are so the brand of that brush oh, that's not it yeah my daughter likes to get in here and she likes to play she likes to do makeup also so you know she mixes the brushes up a little <laughs> so it takes me a few minutes to find some of br my brushes And I don't think we're going to be using that one today. So. We'll just go in with a different one. And get that uh, matte white. And go in. I'm just going to do a little bit more blending right here. With a smaller brush. This is my Makeup Academy crease brush. Guys, these brushes are amazing. You can find them at your local CVS. Um, once I get the full collection, I will do a full dedicated review um, on this brand because they're truly amazing and the quality of their brushes, I'm telling you now, is right up there with Sigma and any other of your major high-end brushes. So I'm just going to take this knockoff brush right here. It's just a flat synthetic brush. And I'm going to go into wink so we can use all the shades um or most of them it's the top first color in the palette it's just a matte cream and i'm just going to apply that right there to that inner corner of the lid just doing tapping motions i'm not you know going back and forth i'm not running the brush or sweeping it i'm just easily tapping that in so that way i'm getting the full range of pigment without moving product you really don't want to move your product whatever you do in any situation that you're doing in your application whichever step it is you always want to try to do your best to do tapping motions guys I truly am so obsessed with this palette. I just cannot get over how beautiful 
these colors are, how, e is, how easy it is to work with it, especially if you're new at doing makeup or eyeshadow, guys. Really check into your Tarlet Tees again, because guys, this palette is amazing, and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get my hands on more of their products. I'm truly blown away. I am floored by the quality of these shadows. The only thing is, is I'm so upset for how long it took me to start playing with them. So now I'm just going to go back in to Heartbreaker, that deep dark brown. And I'm going to apply that to that lower lash line. Look at that, guys. That's barely putting it on. It just blends with such ease. It adheres easily to the eye. Look at that, guys. It's stunning. Now I'm just going to go into a little bit of BFF just on that outer corner there. And connect it into that lower V. Just to give it a little something. So guys, there's the finished look. I'm going to uh, jump off and add a little bit of mascara, some lashes, and call it a day. Um, guys, I'll be back in a little bit to show you guys eight, nine hours in how this eyeshadow held up. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so I'm back to give you my final thoughts on this. As you guys can see, the pigment held up gorgeous. It did not crease. It wore 11 hours. Guys, it's 11 hours later. I'm ready to get this off and get my hair down and get in the jammies and get in the bed. So, I just want to jump back on and show you guys, guys. This is 11 hours in. It's been a long, exhausting day. It held up gorgeous. Again, guys, this is the Tarlet Tease by Tarte. You can get it at TartCosmetics.com or Sephora or Ulta. Guys, this is my new obsession. If you are looking for some amazing mattes, guys, please go check out Tarte. You guys can see for yourself, I'm not the best at eyeshadow, guys, and this makes it a hundred times easier on me. Now, I feel like I can go and create some amazing unique looks because I've finally found a matte formula that just blends effortlessly. Guys, if you've tried these before, please leave down in the comment section what you guys thought. Um, if you, And if you haven't, uh, let me know if you guys are going to give Tar a try. Um, leave it down in the comment section what you guys think and what you guys want to see next so I can get that uploaded for you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel a lot. Guys, there's a notification bell, and if you'll turn those on, you'll be um, notified each time I upload. Um, and that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Good night.